Hey, what's up guys, Crypto here, and today I'm going to show you how to put a custom map into your server. I'll be doing this on a bucket server, but it works the same on a regular server. Alright, so first you want to download some sort of custom map. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the Survival Games 2, made by uh, this guy, D. I grand master Pokemon why the fuck that means. So you just would just click download word save world save and then you would download it. So I've already got it downloaded so I won't download it again. Then you're going to need notepad plus plus um and then you're gonna probably wanna click on this one, it'll download the installer and you can just download that uh pretty easily. It will just straightforward. You can, I think it should, you already should have the Java SE binary. Um, that, I think you might be able to do it with that, but I'm not entirely sure. And for the sake of this video, I just said that a couple seconds ago, I'm go going to be using Notepad++. So you want to go to the, your directory where you have your server. So mine's in my documents. If it's... A bucket server, you're going to have world, the end, world, nether, and world. If it's regular server, I think you just have world. What you want to do is you want to select these three things. You can either delete them or just move them away from your server thing, or your server, um, doc, whatever it's called, I forget what it's called, uh, directory. So if you want to save your world, you just have to take these three or these one and put it somewhere else. Then you want to go to wherever you downloaded the uh, map and because these are dot zip files you have to open them with either winrar or 7zip I'm going to be using winrar so you just open it up and they'll have one file this is the actual world fire file so you drag that in to here and here's where a lot of people mess up people just drag it in like they would in a single player um, Minecraft thing and then they try it and it doesn't work. What you actually have to do is you have to go into the server properties file. So I'll just say server but if you go over to type it will be properties file. Then you right click on it and go open with or no you edit with notepad or and then this will come up. This is the property, so it has different things like allow flight, which if you have a mod that has flight in it, that will, uh, if it's true, you can do that. If it's false, you can't. Then you can have change the message of the day here. You can change the difficulty and all this. But you have to change the level name to the exact same thing you put in your um, server docu uh, directory. So I've already copied and pasted it. So what you can do to do that, if you want to make it exact, just go rename on the file and then just copy that if you want to make it exact. So level name, the survival games too. It's the same as the world. Then you hit save, you exit this exit this you can run your server now and it should say uh, preparing level and then the name of the level and then once that's done you can go into your minecraft login multiplayer join the server and then you'll have the map Crypto 98 one. See, it's easy as that, and uh, yeah. So that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the description, and I'll get back to you and help you uh, figure it out so you can get started on your uh, server. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.